Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will take a look at the HP Chromebook 11 G9 and see what you get out of the box. There are two different sizes in this Chromebook range. There is the entry level 11.6 inch G9 Chromebook and the slightly larger Chromebook G10 with a 14 inch screen. Currently both Chromebooks come with an Intel Celeron N5100 2.8 GHz 4 core CPU, as well as 8 GB of LPDDR4 RAM, plus two USB-C ports for display and charging, a headphone jack, and two standard USB-A ports. Pricing for the Chromebook G9 starts at 339 USD, which is an absolute bargain. However, if you're not familiar with the Chromebooks, this laptop comes with Chrome OS installed, which means no Windows or Mac OS, and it also means you will need a Gmail account to log on. In terms of accessories, in the box you will have a 45 watt USB power adapter, which HP says that you can charge 90% of the battery in 90 minutes. When you take the Chromebook out and lift the lid, it will guide you through the setup process. As I mentioned before, you will need to log in with your Gmail account. Once you log in, you will be asked to install Google Play Store apps that you have installed before. The display is an 11.6 inch display with a 1366 by 768 resolution, anti-glare screen with a 220 nits of brightness. And for the price, it's not too bad, but there is some washed out angles which you will see when I move the screen. And the audio is actually pretty good. Let's take a listen. Sorry. I really think you're going to take a kid who plays video games in their bedroom, you're going to strap them to a 200 mile an hour rocket. It'll tear them to pieces. Across the top of the display, you will have the standard 720 HD webcam, which is great for those conference calls. This can also be used with the Google software, Google Meet. The Chromebook 11 G9 comes with a full-size island-style Chrome keyboard and it's easy to type on. The keys do not bend when pressing and don't tend to wobble too much. And there is no backlit light keyboard, so typing in the dark might be harder if you need to look at your keys when typing. The touchpad comes equipped with multi-touch gesture support, but one downfall is that the mouse cursor seems to jump slightly on the screen it's not a deal breaker, but I find it really annoying. On the left, you have a Kensington lock, a USB-C charging port, and a USB-C A port. On the right side, you have a USB-C port, which can be used for charging and an external display, a USB-A port, and a micro SD card port, and a microphone slash headphone jack. Overall, the build quality is sturdy, as it's made from a robust black plastic, there is very little flex in the chassis. On the bottom, you have four large plastic feet to hold it off the table and it helps with airflow. And there are speaker grills on both sides of the Chromebook. Another thing to note is the black plastic shows up fingerprints. The display hinge folds back about 180 degrees, so the laptop can be placed flat on a table. As mentioned earlier, you will need a Google account to install software from the Google Play Store. Let's pick out a game and see what the gaming performance is like. The game Ashfold 8 ran fine, but it did have some frame drops, but otherwise it was very playable. When running games, we can use the flare camera to show how hot the Chromebook gets. It gets to about 42 degrees over the keyboard, so it's doing a lot of processing there. Because it's a Chromebook, along the bottom on the taskbar, you will have Search, Chrome, Gmail, Calendar, Meet, Play, and the YouTube buttons. In the bottom right, near the time, you can click on the toolbar and it will bring up the settings menu. You can restart, shut down, 
and switch profiles on your Chromebook from here. You will also find Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, notifications, screen capture, sound and brightness settings here. So would I recommend the Chromebook 11 G9? Well for $399 you get a laptop that does email, web browsing and some light gaming. The idea of these laptops is to provide affordable entry level to learning. And if that's what you need, then this laptop is for you. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos. And also, do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.